Hello, Aquarius Cross Watchers like. This is your mid-February to March reading of this current fuck year. Yeah. This is for the sign of Aquarius and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please check your chart. This resonates with you. Cool. If not, you just boop your nose away it goes. No point in worrying about shit that ain't got nothing to do with you. Ain't nothing about you. It ain't none of your damn business. Unless you nosy like I am, and that's why we are all here. Alright, so... Aquarius, I feel with your reading that you are very conflicted or the person you're dealing with is very conflicted in what they actually want to do in comparison really to how they want to go about doing it, you know. It's like you feel like, what's the fucking catch? What's the catch? What's the catch? Why am I here? Tell me the details. You know, like you're very, 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 very paranoid. A little bit, I feel like. But you guys are like always paranoid about someone like restricting you or other shit. Like, you know, you have the world up here and the vibe and energy. And it's like definitely restricted. It's like restricted to a world you don't want to be in. Like being somebody's little fucking pet, right? And you're trying to guard your best against that, right? Because the last situation you were in that you left, you basically made sure that, like, there was no fucking way that there was any coming back from that. Just because you knew it was better to protect yourself in that situation, I believe. Let's see. Knight of Coins reversed the wants and wishes. Someone not making a slow or sure moving offering for a reason to stick around. Or it's like you almost want to delay that, like delay the inevitable kind of thing almost. But in the obstacles and challenges, we got the page of wands down here. Almost reminded me of like a Charlie Chaplin kind of dude, but I know that's not who that is. With his big ass stick, right? Just being like, honey ho, young, 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 young. Talking all that nonsense. Being like, I will not tell you how to you. I will hold up my wand and bat you around with the stick if I got to. They're overburdened and unable to really, like, kind of communicate or even do much of anything because they're too busy kind of being flashy. That picture's kind of flashy to me. In the, uh, fears and rejections, right? We got the Page of Cups right here. You know. Looks like someone's trying to put on a performance with their cups being like, look at me, I'm like one of those birds that dance and shit. But it's like... Almost like nanny nanny boo boo. But it's just hurting them in the background. Hurting them all around, really. They're just doing it to themselves. Then we got the Ten of Cups reverse right here with the Page of Swords reverse, right? These people don't really like happy in the situation. In fact, all these wavy lines make me think that they kind of stink after a while. And someone's trying to look and see where the smell's coming from. We have the Nine of Cups up here, Aquarius. As your beginning theme. Someone got a wish, but now it's like, ah, I didn't pay attention to the rules. I feel like of the wish, you know, he's got the magician hat right there. Since it's reversed, I think that someone didn't follow all of the rules to a ritual or something, or didn't go through the process correctly, even though it was very clear when they were told about this particular thing that they had to follow the directions exactly. This is the one time where you just can't be like, fuck it, just throw it in a pot, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. But that's like big Sag energy right there in Aquarius. I feel like it's more along the lines of you didn't just throw shit in, but it's like that feeling like you thought you knew better than the person telling you, I feel like. Which, as an Aquarius moon, I do have that kind of problem, you know. Sometimes I won't listen to a motherfucker because I think that I know more than they do just because of the fact that, like, it doesn't feel vibey to me. But Aquarius, you're the ones that are always out there, so you get stuff outside the box, right? But it's that whole, um, I know more than everybody else kind of attitude that gets me in trouble with my Aquarius moon. And I can see other Aquariuses have done the exact same thing before. And it's just like, you know, I, it's kind of like, you know, like, I understand what you're saying, but let me stop you right there and tell you why the fuck you're wrong. Even though you're not entirely sure that you might be right in the situation yourself. You just feel confident enough that you probably know more than this other person. And this might be a situation, because I told Leaper this too, it was like someone was trying to tell them that they were wrong about something and they didn't listen. But Aquarius, with your situation, it might be where, like, uh, you feel like you know more than another person 
but in reality, you don't know any more than they do, if not less. And that might have bit you in the ass just a little bit. Just a little bit. So let's see. In the situation up above with the Nine of Wands and the World card, guarding against this feeling of trappedness, right? Like you're a pet. You got slow, but sure moving off for right here. Could be Earth sign for sure with your mix. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, of course. But he's reversing the wants and wishes. You know? Because you know that that offer comes with some sneak sneaks. It comes with the sneaky sneaky sneaks. You don't like the sneaky, sneaky sneaks. You know, what's the catch? What are the strings attached, you know? Down below in the situation, there were lovers together, but like I said before, you, it something went down the last times where it makes it almost near impossible to come back to the situation without, like, at least someone fighting. But you're willing to try to figure it out or find something out or learn something right here. Aquarius. It might be two different people you don't that you want to deal with, but it's like a, it's kind of like you want to offer something just to get back in to see what the fuck's going on. Just be like, what do I not know in this situation? But in reality, I feel like there's nothing really to know. Wants and wishes, not making an offer because you want a reason to stick around, right? Just to avoid a tower moment. And possibly to get an offer back with the Ace of Pentacles. Maybe you're holding your cards to your chest a little bit, Aquarius. You want to see what this person gives you first. Like, you want to give them something, but it's kind of like, you know, uh... Almost like you're infiltrating or retconning the situation before, like, you really look into it. Because it's just like, what the fuck am I getting myself into this time? Because the last time went terribly. And I want to make sure that it doesn't end up that way again. I don't give a fuck how much I like you, you know? You're probably paying attention to what this person isn't telling you, too. Like Aquarius and Crosswatcher, you are paying attention to what it is you're seeing. And how they're behaving and the things that they say. Hell, you might even be watching somebody live out your life vicariously and it's starting to hit you like, wait a minute. Which side of the fence am I on in this shit, right? Down below in the Obstacles and Challenges page of Wands is Overburden, right? King of Wands as well. Um, I don't think they're too keen on like trying to deal with this shit neither. I feel like they're kind of being childish in the situation themselves anyway. Trying to come off as kingly, but really not so much because, yeah, this person's way overburdened. Even if they become like, even if they matured, they're still going to be bothered by shit. Like, even if they grow up, they're still going to have to carry a burden around. It's just not going to be as much of one. They want to, like, be immature and let all this shit go, but they know they got to mature up and hold this shit together. But they're still, like, immature as fuck. You're basically asking somebody, you're basically seeing that someone's less immature than either the previous person or the way they were before, one of the two. Fears and rejections. Basically, someone shooting themselves in their own foot, like showing off, acting like an asshole, and now it's like, ah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe I fucked myself just a little bit, you know. There was harmony and shit in this little discord or whatever. Not so much, Aquarius, with you, or that is you. Either, like, the what was harmonious is now, like, just pissing you off to the point where, like, you're not listening to anybody anymore, or it's just this situation is not going to be something to heal or communicate about. It's actually, like, not working that way, and that's what's got you more nettled than anything. How the shit starts, how it'll end. Ten of Cups reverse with the Page of Swords reverse. Someone wants to know why this shit isn't working out, why it stinks so much, but I feel like they're looking for the wrong reasons, basically because it's based in heartbreak. Not wanting to relive things that hurt them before. And they want, and they want to stay secure. They want to be able to take a nap. They'd be like, no one's going to fuck with my day today. Nuh-uh, because I drove them all the way, you know. 
Yeah, this is a tad bit of paranoia. Paranoia will destroy you. That's the title of your video this time, Aquarius. That's what you are today. Paranoia will destroy ya. Na, 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 na. <coughs> oh my goodness. <coughs> okay. That's gonna be you're getting another car again. Hopefully it works better than the last one. Okay. Yeah, there's a lot of confusion here. Aquarius, you are confused. You look like a deer in the headlights or like back in the music video. You're just like, uh And the ten of swords just came out when I dropped some of my cards, so there's definitely betrayal involved. Um You're confused because you thought this is what you wanted. Or this wish isn't what you thought it would be. But someone's got you suspicious about their intentions to try to come back in. Or you are coming off as suspicious with wanting to come back in. Because you might have acted a certain way or they acted a certain way. Either way, whoever showed their ass first is the one that's trying to come in with the sneak sneaks. And, you know, this is just like, nah. Like, I, it could be a Gemini. But it's definitely like, nah, I don't think so. I don't think you need my apple. I'll hold it out for you to stare at, though. You know. Because uh, they don't want this shit to end. Like dangling a carrot on a rope, you know. Just being like, hey, here's something. But it's just so the door isn't closed completely, I feel like. Which is the situation down here already. Hmm. Would you look at that Aquarius? Someone's just as paranoid as you are. Good eats, man. Good eats. Alright. Situation. There's a lover situation. You're trying to gather information about it. Or they're trying to gather information on you. One of the two. Someone's looking for secrets. Good with the Pisces. Right? But that's because they don't want to let go shit. So you're gonna be stupid to find out more information. Like, what else did they fucking lie to me about? But there might not be anything else. You might already know everything. And it's the same on the other side of the board, you know? One of y'all or both of y'all are just doing whatever, Aquarius and Crotch Watcher. Crotch Watcher. Cross Watcher, my bad. But if you wanna watch crotches, that's up to you. I'm not gonna judge you or anything, right? Right. Wants and wishes, y'all. Come here. This was a bad time to clip my nails, but whatever. Um, yeah, it's like you want to avoid a tower by not offering something here, hoping that you'll get an offer back. Like, but it's like there's no commitment here, and y'all don't make each other happy. So what the fuck's the point? What? What's the point of expecting something from somebody who you don't even get along with? Like y'all make up rules with each other, and y'all get mad. Like, if there was some, like, contract or something you established, at some point, one of you might have been like, oh, well, hey, I want to go ahead and fulfill this part of the contract now. It's been a few years. I haven't gone for it, but I feel like doing it. All of a sudden, the person would be like, ah, no, 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 no. I am changing the rules right now, and all of a sudden, y'all are just against each other for some shit, and it's just like, what the fuck? Like, what if y'all could be tugging on the other one, and like, why would you give you my happiness? But it's like... They can't give it to you anyway. You can only make yourself happy, but it's like you're allowing them to change the rules, or they're allowing you to change the rules in order to bend another person to their will. Um, obstacles and challenges, right? This person could grow up, but they're still going to be immature as fuck, but they'll do their part, you know, only to avoid learning a lesson the second time, you know? Where they're going to drive someone away that they didn't mean to drive away, you know? Aquarius, that could be you too. It could go either way. But it's like the person who needs to grow the fuck up, they'll do their part, but they're not really going to grow up as much as they'll just get older and more bitter with shit. But it's just to avoid the tower because I think they know they have the potential to drive you away if they don't pick up the slack, you know? 
Or maybe you're the one that needs to pick up the slack. Either way, um... Whoever you're dealing with, Aquarius and Cross Watchers, like... Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Like, you know what you know. Okay? But they know what they know, too. Fears and rejections, how this union used to be. Like, someone might have gotten arrogant in it, I feel like, with a star, too. Because that talks about arrogance. Not wanting to fix the situation as well. But someone still expects somebody to carry their swords for them. Which is just like, why? Like, this is all, this is weird. Ugh, and then still flub up the emotions. It's like this person expects the work to be done, but they can't demonstrate how, like, appreciative they are. Or they're just immature about how they expect the person to take up the slack, one of the two. And they might be afraid that that's what drives a person away, like down here. It's just like, how much do you want me to do for you before you give me a fucking break? How it should start total end Aquarius heartbreak and feelings trying to be secure with it, you know? Yeah, I gotta let this shit go. You gotta let it go. You gotta let it go. Just whatever you have to go, let it go. There's no more excuses now. Like, there really isn't. One more. Because someone's gonna get caught up in the shit. Or you got caught up in the shit. Or they got caught up in the shit. Either way. Uh, yeah, I feel like Aquarius, you know what you know. But they know what they know, too. The problem is thinking that you know more than them, or even almost an aspect of feeling control, especially with the world up here where the bitches were chained. Mm. I don't know, man. But that's the end of your reading. Yay. So if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe. You ain't got to if you don't want to. It's up to you, really. But thanks for watching the vid. Um, love you guys' faces. I hope you have a good day, and I hope this helps you out. I will see you later. Bye-bye.